Have you ever wondered, what's the big deal about vaping marijuana? Yes, vaping marijuana is legal in California for anyone who is 21 or older. But it isn't legal for teens, partly because marijuana can have negative effects on your health, education, and social life. We will take a look at how marijuana affects two main parts of your body, your brain and lungs. When you are healthy, you will do better in sports, at school, and have better relationships. The health risks of vaping marijuana aren't always talked about, so here are some facts about how vaping marijuana can affect your health. As a teen, your brain is still developing. This means that your brain is more easily harmed by substances, including marijuana. Marijuana contains tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. This is the chemical that is responsible for the effects of marijuana on your brain. Studies show that marijuana with more THC in long-term use is linked to side effects including paranoia and cannabis hyperemesis syndrome, a condition where someone experiences ongoing nausea, vomiting, belly pain, and dehydration. Vaping marijuana may have a negative effect on your brain cells and cause difficulty with attention, memory, learning, and problem solving. This can make it more difficult to pay attention at school, take tests, and achieve your goals for your education and career. The harmful effects of marijuana can be long-term, which means that you may continue to have some difficulties when you are an adult. Vaping marijuana regularly, over time, is also linked to mental health problems, including anxiety and depression. Increased anxiety or depression can make it harder for someone to do well in their classes, succeed as an athlete, or hang out with their friends. We also know that vaping marijuana messes with your coordination, reaction time, and judgment. This is why driving under the influence of marijuana is illegal in California. For example, if you are driving high and the light suddenly turns red, it takes your brain longer to process and respond. This can lead to accidents or even getting pulled over by the police. People who drive immediately after using marijuana may increase their risk of getting into an accident by 25 to 35 percent. Also, marijuana continues to impact your brain for some time after you use it. Remember, vaping marijuana and driving is illegal no matter how old you are, but the penalties are more serious if you're under 21 years old. For teens, driving high can lead to costly fines, having to go to court, getting your driver's license suspended, and more. Not everyone who vapes will become addicted, but it is possible. People who become addicted may have trouble giving it up and even feel withdrawal symptoms including feeling irritable, sleep difficulties, difficulty focusing, and headaches, to name a few. Vaping marijuana during your teenage years puts you at a greater risk for becoming addicted to it. A lot of people think it's safer to vape marijuana rather than smoke it. However, we know that vaping marijuana can have a negative effect on your health too. It is linked to lung and respiratory problems among young people. Vaping may contribute to a dry cough or wheezing, especially during or after exercise. Unfortunately, we don't have enough data and research to know if these lung problems will be long-term or if they get better. What about smoking marijuana? How does this impact your lungs? Well, just like smoking cigarettes, smoking marijuana can have similar effects on your breathing and lung health. For example, smoking marijuana can harm your lung tissue and blood vessels. Smoking marijuana not only harms your respiratory system, it can also affect the immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off disease. Vaping marijuana may seem harmless, but we're learning more about how these products can harm your brain and lungs. There's a lot to look forward to in life. Make sure you are ready for all of life's adventures with a healthy brain and lungs.